Oh, hi there guys, I'm Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Look, um, in most of my videos, I do videos on procedural dermatology, that is using lasers, chemical peels, injectables, fillers, um, and energy devices. But today's a little bit different because I'm gonna do a spin on things. I'm not a product guy myself, so I don't like using products, but I acknowledge skincare is important. So today I'm gonna to give you a couple of skincare tips, but most importantly, I'm going to share some skincare tips with my colleagues and ask them uh, what they like to use. So uh, it's not coming from me, it's coming from a whole heap of um, experts in the field of dermatology, including dermatologists and um, many of my nurses. And you can see skincare is as individualized as you are. So um, even though we have free reign, free access to all our products, um, you can see that um, there's a marked variation in everyone's favorite products. So stay tuned and listen to what these guys have to say. Good. Hey, we've got uh, Dr. Paul Teng here. Hey, Paul, uh, can you tell me your skincare regime, personal skincare regime? So Paul's a dermatologist, senior dermatologist, and um, he's going to tell us um, what he uses. Okay, sure. Um, for uh, cleansing, I use the Avene Extremely Gentle Cleanser, and for moisturizing, the Avene Skin Recovery Cream. Cool. Um, for sunscreen, I use the Cetaphil Suntivity 50 Plus. Yep. And uh, for a skin therapy, every six weeks, uh, hydrofacial. Must be an Asian thing because it uh, <laughs> looks like most of <laughs> the Asians love that. Yes. Hey, thanks, Paul. No, cheers, mate. Cheers. Cool. So, hey, I've got Megan over here. Uh, Megan, we've known for many years, right, Megan? Yeah, we've worked together many years. Yeah. Hey, Megan, what's your favorite skincare regime? Like, what do you use from a moisturizer, cleanser? I use the whole Abaji New Derm range. Um, the cleanser, toner, um, morning I use the vitamin C. Sometimes I use the Exvoderm and the uh, Hydrate. And at night I like the Lux Abaji. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. I've changed to others, but I still keep coming back to that one. Yep, procedure wise, what do you reckon was the best procedure you've had so far? Uh, laser that Davin did. Oh, well, uh, well <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, CO2 under the eyes, and I have had Fraxel. Yeah, uh, do you prefer the, which, which gave you the best results, you think? The CO2. CO2, yeah. yeah. So we went the old fashioned way, didn't we? So yeah, in April. In April, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, look, I still use that CO2 fully, we went fully ablated, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, fully yeah. ablated. I think um, for Megan, uh, who's approaching 50 or 50 and beyond. Just turn 50. <laughs> Just turn 50. Um, look, I'm not going to muck around with any um, fractionated devices, um, you know, with her skin tightening around her eye area. Um, I think that the Fraxel's the way, uh, sorry, the fully ablative CO2, old fashioned method, but it just works, doesn't it? Did. I'd cool. had the Fraxel before, but the CO2 really picked up. Yeah, cool. Hey, thanks for that, Megan. That's okay. Okay, okay guys, we have, give it a big smile. <laughs> we have Rochelle. Rochelle's uh, one of my models over here for a lot of stuff, but um, she is the um, pharmacy uh, rep. She knows everything about skin. And tell me about that, your skincare regime. What do you like using? Um, I like a bhaji. I like God, a gentle another cleanse. Another one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also like Aspect, though, as well. They've got a really good cleanser. Um, it's got lactic acid in it, which cool. is good yep, for yep. skin. Um, but a bhaji hydrate is probably the best moisturizer. Really cool, cool. Yeah. I, I agree with you. I like using a bhaji as well. So, um, look, I can't. We can't go past a bhaji. I think it, we've. Uh, I think the practice vote, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yeah. Cool. Hey, um, and procedure-wise, have you had any procedures for your face? You've had, yeah, Botox, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. cool. And has that helped? Yeah, yeah. definitely has helped. Definitely yeah. helped, yeah. yeah. With your jawline jaw, as well? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I had a lot of clicking and my jaw would actually pop out, but it's helped with that. Too. Cool. So that's probably your favourite procedure so far? Yes. <laughs> cool. Thanks for that. Okay, <laughs> bye. And we have Katie. Katie's one of my senior nurses. Hey, Katie, what is your favourite skincare regime? Like, what do you like to use? Uh, so I really like the Abaji products. My God damn it, it's not Abaji. <laughs> okay, we're not, we're not we're not paid by Abaji, guys. But anyway, okay. So Abaji, yep. I'm on Rakuten at the moment, so my skin runs a little bit dry. Yep, yep. So I use the Abaji New Derm Cleanser to cleanse with. Cool, cool. Uh, and the Hydrate Moisturizer to moisturize with. Cool, cool. And uh, procedure-wise, have you had any procedures or anything laser-wise um, that you like that you, that you you particularly like? For your Nothing. Skincare? I haven't had anything except a few chemical peels. Yeah, and avoid chemical peels. Which one do you prefer? Like your favorite? I my favorite would be either a glycolic or a vitamin A peel if I've got the downtime. Cool. Much like me, I love the vitamin A peels. Okay, guys, you can see how um, everyone's different. 
Hey, thanks, okay. Now we have uh, Kira. How are you? Good. Good, good. Okay, Kira, um, what's your skincare regime? Um, what do you like using from a product wise? Um, so I like to use a good sunscreen and AHAs in my moisturizers. Cool, cool. Which brands? Um, I like um, Ego Zelucent, which I use at night, and I also use a Bargy as well, and I use that during the day. Um, yeah. Very good. So a Bargy during, as in um, your moisturizer, or yeah. Oh, I use the whole range, but cool. So yeah, the cleanser, moisturizer, and the. Oh my God, another Bargy girl. <laughs> so okay, you mix it. So you've got a Bargy as um, for your for your day. Yep. Um, for your repair, you like using the Elucin, which is an AOJ ten percent. Yeah. Yeah. I like using that as well. I used to use that. Um, yeah. I get a little bit stronger. I go twenty percent if I use an AJ. Uh, but ten's pretty cool. That's made by Ego. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and anything else you like mixing yeah. around with? Um, I also use the La Roche Posay um, Epiclar Duo Fort, which I use that pretty much twice a day. Cool. So and that's because uh, it keeps my skin clear. I feel. Cool. Yeah. So great. You can see. Um, yeah, you're a mixer like me. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> no okay. okay, now we have Rachel, who's one of our senior nurses. Um, you see Rachel with all of our videos. Um, any hickeys today, Rachel? No, no it's okay. No, sorry. Okay. okay, Rachel, seriously. Okay, on a serious note, what is your skincare regime? Daddy's skincare regime? My skincare regime is Obagi. Oh my god, another Obagi. <laughs> I've got like three Obagis in a row. Okay, keep going. Yeah, yeah. I love Obagi cleanser because they have clinical trials that have proved that your skin turns over in 28 days with the stuff that Really? Yeah. Geez, I'll tell you what, Obagi. <laughs> really taught you well to say that but okay cool. um, also budget, their yep. moisturizer hydrate but i maintain my skincare range by doing lactic peels every two weeks cool um as you can see uh, there's a lot of variation because like some of my nurses like aoj peels uh, katie likes aoj god yeah, knows why she's, she's, yeah, she's got my lesbian yeah <laughs> and you you like lactic acid because it's it's gentle but it also you can leave it on for longer and it'll take off more as cool. well as being hydrating cool cool and uh, procedure-wise, what procedure have you had? I've had like? CO two under my eyes, which you did, I and did? I love. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, you, did it yeah. work? Yeah, I love. Okay, it. cool. Um, so, oh, so I even <laughs> forgot. So I did CO two for uh, for Rachel. So, Look, yeah. Under yeah, underneath the eyes. How, uh, how old are you, Rachel? I'm twenty six. Twenty six. Yeah. As you can see, is a very different from Megan, which I did fully ablative CO two yeah. for. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. Hey, thanks for that. Um, now we have a um, wife, an Asian, yeah, an Asian <laughs> wife of a prominent dermatologist. Hey, um, Gwen, what's your um, what's your favorite skincare regime? Like, what do you use? I use um, La Roche Posay, and for sunscreen, also the same brand. So LRP, La Roche Posay from France. Uh, you yeah. get yours from Asia, though, don't you, Thai Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, so LRP usually, if, what factor SPF do you normally use? Fifty. Fifty. And what's your favorite procedure so far? Um, like you know, skincare wise, with lasers, hydrofacial. What do you use? I only use hydrofacial. Okay, so there you have it. She likes the <laughs> hydrofacial. Um, cool. Thanks for that, Gwen. Thank Jeez, you. I did not expect that at all. Hey, it's not an Abaji commercial, but it sounds like an Abaji commercial because it's um, everyone's using Abaji. Um, do I use it? Uh, yeah, I do. I quite like it. My favorite moisturizer actually is, and um, I get this overseas, so I actually buy it. So. Um, it's La Roche Posay. Uh, I like it because it's really, really um, light, and um, for summer, this is what I use. So I use an LRP SPF 15. I don't need an SPF 30 or 50 because of my ethnic skin type. So I use an SPF 15 because it's really light. So this is my summer uh, moisturizer. In winter, oh, you. <laughs> uh, it is pretty good stuff. We get lots of other moisturizers thrown to us for free, but um, most of the staff decide to buy Abaji for one reason, it feels good and it's pretty good. So I like using Abaji Hydrate um, during winter. Uh, and it's because for me, at least uh, being Asian, I get oily skin in summer and super dry in winter. So that's why I use Abaji for that. Um, my eye ointment of choice is really cheap. It's Urpal, made by Allergan. It costs about $15 US. It's actually used as a preservative-free um, eye moisturizer and eye ointment that I use as an eye cream. Uh, super good, uh, super moisturizing, super cheap. Uh, and for an active ingredient, everyone's seen my tretinoin peel, so I don't like to use active ingredients every night. I think that they can irritate your skin and it just takes too long. Uh, and I prefer 
to use a tretinoin peel, so a violet ray peel once every uh, month or so. Um, yeah, so that's my skincare regime. And um, twice a year I use the Pico laser, which is a Pico second laser, um, to actually help reduce my skin pores and also help uh, with my wrinkles. So that's it for me guys. So look, you can see from this video um, that there are so many ways, there's so many ways um, to actually manage your skin and everyone has their own favorite um, skincare regime. So uh, the bottom line is this, when you walk into a pharmacy, make sure that they have every skincare line out there because uh, everyone's skin is different. Figure out what you like and not what people are trying to sell you. Um, so hey, thanks for watching guys and uh, look, I hope to see you next Saturday. One new video every Saturday, Brisbane time. Thanks guys. Hey guys, look, thanks very much for watching this rather long video. Um, I try to do educational videos and I would love you to subscribe for more information. I post a video up every Saturday, um, Brisbane time in Australia. Um, the other thing as well is that I am on Instagram, so I try to post uh, maybe two or three videos um, a week. Uh, so if you're really bored uh, and you want to learn something new, follow me on Instagram. Once again, thanks for watching this video and remember to subscribe for more information. Thanks. Bye.